dear students welcome to the tutorial on ils administration you know at the first hand that ils administration is not a regular or repetitive job in most of the cases you need to do it after the installation of the software in your library in most of the cases that is one time job but time to time you need to you know tune that particular uh, you know different parameter settings to make the uh, ils installed ils your library specific now if we look into the code of the system administration job related to library automation it can be framed into two groups in the first group you need to define different kind of parameters related to modules say for example you want to start catalog module some of the configuration you need to select in, in the uh, to start catalog module say you want to start acquisition module then you need to define currency conversion table you need to define budget you need to define or you need to create member management borrower categories then some patterns you need to add into that particular categories so these are the things you need to do uh, after uh, you know installation of the ils and the job can be divided into two groups one is the parameter setting and another is the post installation configuration of the ils to make it library specific and please remember only privileged user or super user can perform different ils administrative job including backup restoration export import this kind of you know um, administrative jobs now uh, in case of general parameters uh, you need to start with the date format that is very important because in different different countries different date formats are utilized you need to decide what particular date format you need to follow and you need to define that it's very important you need to define it uh, the very first moment what date format you are going to follow then you need to define the text parameters say in uh, some of the uh, cases you need to pro, uh, provide the gist uh, tax or vat so that uh, you know tax uh, amount or percentage of tax you need to enter initially to uh, start acquisition and budget process parameters for authorities that what will be the separator for different subject descriptor you need to define default character encoding if you are handling multilingual documents you need to uh, define the default character encoding must be based on unicode in most uh, um, you know popular encoding standard is utf8 then you need to select character encoding standard for the whole ils or for a particular module for the whole ils normally unicode is the text encoding standard then you can select the themes related to opac themes related to the staff interface in most of the cases ils includes two interfaces one is the staff interface or librarian interface another is the opac interface or end user interface and ils may include n number of themes for both of the interfaces and you can select one particular theme or you can change an existing theme into another one then the next important thing is the branch management if you are running uh, you know a group of libraries with independent branches and located in different places you need to define what are the branches what are their circulation rule what are their item types and the privileges um, you know to library staff who can handle different branch related activities so these are the general parameters you need to you need uh, need to take into account now for example you see the administration panel of an ils it is the koha ils the koha actually divided the whole administration process into two group the first group is the global system preferences where we are defining parameters for different modules and another one is the basic parameters where we are defining different library related information that is the branch name of the library type of the library item types authorized values uh, you know related uh, for generating different kind of pickup list patron and circulation related information like patron categories patron privileges then in the catalog module we are basically giving uh, or setting different kind of parameters related to default display format for retrieval of document default data format we can have options for mark unimark ccf or no mark even auto and manual barcode generation we can define here we can you uh, know on the option or we can off the option we can provide filing rules here at the time of sorting of the bibliographic records 
In the circulation module or circulation parameter, we need to define uh, parameters related to maximum outstanding fine amount, maximum reservation allowed, patron image display, notification for borrower expiry, generation of gate pass, everything. Now, when we are going for the OPEC parameters, there are n number of parameters we will be discussing later on, but the, in the OPEC parameter, for example, you can define here what are the external resources you can link to with your local library catalog or local library OPEC. So, you can handle it right from here in the uh, ILS administration. Other library related you know parameters are defi defining library branches, it is option for setting library code, name, address. If you are running library automation system over a network or intranet, you can provide IP address, domain name, etcetera. Then next you need to define the library funds, defining of the budget heads. Then under the budget head, differing, uh, different fund accounts you can, you, you need to enter to handle budgets and library funds. Currency code and currency values you can give in the currency table to start acquisition module. Item types you need to set, some of the default item types will be available with the ILS, but some of them may not be matching with your local collection. Some of the things you have, but uh, you know ILS uh, may not include that. So, sometimes you need to add something, something you need to delete or something you need to modify in defining item types. Then uh, you know uh, patron group, you, ne you, you need to define the borrower categories with their privileges. Then issuing rules and circulation rule, it is very important that how, what are the user group uh, can get how many books for how many days, this, this kind of things you need to define in circulation rule. Each of the library has their own circulation rule and ILS provides a very systematic you know, uh, user friendly interface through which a library can define their circulation rules. Then different kind of authorized values for handling bibliographic format, we already talked about the pickup list for different mark tags. So, all the pickup list you can generate in ILS administration and in the cataloging module you can use those authority list to link with a particular tag. Then the bibliographic framework you can define here, say for example, some of the default frameworks are available with you. So, default framework, framework for books and serials, but your library is managing cartographic materials. So, here you need to define or you need to create a bibliographic framework right from the ILS administration option. Then uh, to make your retrieval much more efficient, you can define number of stop words here, which will be extruded uh, from indexing system. Then uh, if your ILS includes uh, the Z39.50 client gateway to fetch data from Z39.50 server, you need to enter different data sets related to Z39.50 server. You already know such kind of data set you can have from IRSpy service. The URL of the service is irspy.indexdata.com. Now when your Z39.50 servers entering is over, you can set different kind of options related to export and import, a different kind of format like your export import will be uh, you know available in ISO 2709 format or MARC XML format. And last but the most important thing, you can generate a backup schedule for your uh, you know uh, the entire ILS database or the entire ILS system. Backup, regular backup and restoration of backup at the time of inner emergency is possibly the most important job of an ILS administrator. Now here if we um, go for uh, you know some kind of uh, examples how we can handle ILS administration in a particular library automation system. In fact, I am giving example from Koha, but the process can be you know repeated in any uh, you know uh, ILS. Most of the ILS includes an exclusive module for administration. They sometimes they call it ILS administration, sometimes they call it system administration or sometimes they call it simply administration. Now, as we know, uh, you know uh, that Koha actually di divided the whole groups into two major blocks. One is the system parameter setting, another is the library parameter setting. It starts from the basic parameter. Now, within the basic parameter group, we need to define the groups, libraries, item types and authorized values. For example, let us start with the defining a group. Now, what is a group? Group means suppose you are working in a university library, there are n number of departmental libraries, seminal libraries and there is one central library. 
So, you need to define how many types of libraries are available in your system, who, what are the main libraries, branch libraries, departmental libraries, seminal libraries, etc. Now, suppose in a college library there is only one library, so you define one category. So, first you start with the group defining group, then the moment group uh, definition is over, you can start entering data for individual library. Say for example, we have defined here central library as a group and NVLI library as a branch under the central library. So, when this particular job is over, you can start in the following sequence, you need to define item types, authorized values, different parameters related to patron, different parameters related to catalog, etcetera. In this way, you can go on entering your library specific data or required data for you know start operation with your ILS. So, these are the uh, parameters available under cataloging, mock framework creation, koha to mock linking, mock bibliographic framework testing, authority format uh, you know tinkering, etcetera. In the acquisition parameter, we need to define currency, rates, then budgets and funds and additional parameter like Z39.50 server, as I told you, you need to enter different you know uh, uh, data, say what is the name of the database, what is the port or is in use, then what is the user ID and password, if it is you know um, password protected Z39.50 server, what particular format you are interested. Mark 21 or US Mark or LC Mark or UK Mark or CCF, all are available and you need to enter that particular data. Now, if we come to the you know system preference setting or global preference setting, Koha actually listed uh, different modules here. Say for example, I want to start acquisition module. So, different parameters related to acquisitions will be listed here, policy level parameters administrative parameters and you know we need to define the values against each and every parameter. So, default values are not quite uh, sufficient uh, for a library, a library need to define their own policies, own parameters related to each and every module, acquisition, administration, authorities, catalog, circulation, etc. Now, for example, if we uh, go for the OPEC uh, para, you know uh, module only. So, you see here how you can handle OPEC, you can handle appearance of OPEC through this kind of you know uh, parameters. Say for example, here it is a what is the Biblio default value by uh, you know default it is given in simple format, but you can change the simple format into mock format or ISBD format. So, the moment a user retrieve a particular record in the OPEC, the record will be displayed either in simple format or in mock format or in ISBD format, but you are controlling it from here. Now, similarly many other things you can control from here, name of your library, OPEC credits, base URL of, of your OPEC, you can create different kind of CSS style sheet and can link that style sheet into your OPEC to control the appearance. Then different other features related to um, OPEC, say um, maximum number of results against a particular query. OPEC authorities, whether you want to display authorities uh, or not in the OPEC, you can allow or you can disallow. Then different kind of private browsing uh, features, OPEC cloud uh, you know formation, all kind of features you need to you know uh, either on it or you can off it and it will right from here the ILS administrator will control the appearance OPEC by setting these parameters. Similarly, you can allow uh, suggestions you can either on it or off it uh, uh, from here. Now, at the end, uh, these are the, I hope you already understand that in this way you need to select a particular module and you need to go uh, studying all kind of parameters associated with it and uh, initially you need to test how a particular parameter option is working, but within uh, some trial and error process you will learn how a particular parameter works and you need to know what are the requirements for your library and according to that you can set the parameters. But now we are going to cover the most important uh, you know administrative job of a library administ ILS administrator that is how to take backup. Most of the modern libraries are using automated backup script that means you can create a cron job. Most of the library automation systems are based on Linux operating system. Linux is quite friendly with the cron job. Cron job means a chronological job which is repeated uh, uh, for a given 
time on a given date according to your requirement. So, you can define a cron job that every night 12, 12 o'clock your whole database will, will be backed up automatically through MySQL dump command or PostgreSQL dump command. Now, this is one process you can make the job of uh, backup automatic, but uh, some of the library professionals who are not quite uh, you know, um, you know uh, habituated with handling cron jobs, they can you know take backup uh, manually. There are n number of MySQL front ends are available, PHP MyAdmin, SQL Yerk, etc. Now, here you see, here I, I want to take the entire ILS database uh, backup. So, I have, I have selected backup database and there I need to go to the tools and there it is uh, the option is given, you know, uh, SQL file dumping. The moment you select that particular option, it will ask you the name of the database and the location of the database. Then it will, uh, you know, backed up the entire ILS database into SQL format and it will place it. So, at the time of emergency, sometimes uh, something happens, your hard disk crash or your data corrupted, you can use that backup file uh, to restore the database. And this is a very important, uh, you know, work of an ILS administrator. So, backup of database you can uh, do with the cron job or you can use many uh, MySQL front end available, PHP My Admin, SQL Yerg, etc. And please remember that to take backup and to restore data set, you need not to be an expert in MySQL or any RDBMS. Uh, through this simple uh, to use user interfaces, you can take backup and you can restore databases at the time of emergency. So, in conclusion, we can say that ILS administration is a series of activities, but not repetitive in nature. At the very first uh, instance after installation of your uh, ILS software, you need to create it once. Normally, it divided into two phases. First, you need to define the system parameters related to different modules. Then, you need to set library specific parameters like uh, name of the library, circulation rule related to the library, cataloging requirement of that library can be taken care uh, through ILS administration. You can, you know, open up or close down different options through ILS administration, but possibly the most important task of ILS administration is to arrange regular backup. You, you, you made a good habit to take regular backup and you also need to know how to restore data sets in case of emergency or in case of data loss. Thank you.